Okay, here we are. We're going to review the Ruckman Reference Bible. And as you can see, it's quite a, a modest uh, cover. In fact, it's completely blank. So you go to the spine, and uh, of course, the Holy Bible at the top. Ruckman's uh, Reference Bible. King James, of course. Bible Baptist Book Store. And I uh, just want to start with the book itself. Look at the uh, signature. And uh, there was some uh, suggestion that this may have been a printed signature. And uh, here we have a, a book that he signed uh, to my father. And uh, we think it is original. Well, that could have been stamped. But uh, we'll, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt and say it's an original signature. Uh, copyright is the Bible Baptist Bookstore. And there is the ISBN number. So moving on. We go to his uh, induction. And he's quite honest. He says here that uh, with every uh, edition, there's always going to be uh, possible spelling and grammatical errors. And we can testify to that. We've written over 100 articles on our website. And uh, I'm still finding minor spelling mistakes. So I uh, appreciate his honesty. And he opens, of course, with the book of Genesis, uh, obviously. And um, I'm told that uh, the footnotes here have been copied and pasted from his uh, reference to uh, Matthew and Mark. And of course, this is for Genesis. He wrote a load of reference Bibles back in the 70s, and uh, this is Genesis, copied from his 1970 edition. And of course, he does uh, spend a few moments looking at the gap theory. Now down here, uh, some great footnotes here, very original. Uh, he talks about Lincoln, Garfield, McKinley, so on and so forth. Uh, he says we're all assassinated. The conspirators in the Lincoln assassination were all Catholics. Uh, a Catholic fired on Truman in the 50s. Lee Harvey Oswald's wife was a Catholic. A uh, Catholic Nazi officer attempted to assassinate Hitler. was also a Catholic. And uh, he even t tells a story of a Catholic who was kicked out of a taxi uh, because he was from Texas. Some uh, interesting stories there. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, just... Uh, freeze frame it and you can read the footnotes at your own leisure Psalms uh, this has been uh, lent to me I should say from uh, a friend of ours who told me there was nothing uh, in the Psalms no footnotes, no commentary and uh, when I first heard that I was slightly concerned but uh, that is actually not the case there are footnotes and uh, he mentions uh, Mel Gibson here Film the Passion. Now, there's there's always a problem when you uh, date something. For example, in 25 years from now, people may not know who Mel Gibson is. So I'm not sure if it's a good thing or not to uh, mention film stars, mention uh, plays, and so on and so forth, because uh, it does date a publication very quickly. Proverbs. Uh, again, there's footnotes here. He mentions Jesus Christ begotten in eternity, which is a reference to uh, Calvinism. And he's quite critical of John Calvin. Isaiah, some good stuff in here. 9-6, uh, of course the son is born. And uh, some good stuff in here. Gospel of John, uh, one of my favourite Gospels, very important, 90% uh, of John's Gospel, I think it's either 80 or 90%, is completely unique. There's nothing uh, in the Synoptic Gospels uh, compared to what's in John's Gospel. And you can see quite a lot of footnotes here, he's quite uh, generous in the New Testament, more than Schofield, and uh, he talks about uh, the new birth, John 3.16 what it means to be born again you're going to have to forgive me there's a lot to cover here in uh, a short period of time again he spends a lot of time dealing with the Calvinism and uh, the tulip system and uh, he has no time whatsoever for Calvinism and he's quite critical of that 1st Corinthians deals with the tongues uh, he is a Satanist and uh, he's quite content to uh, put the boot in and uh, deal with people who think that tongues are still for today. And I'll just uh, give you uh, 
a close-up of his footnotes, and you can read them at your own leisure. Ephesians, chosen him before the foundation of the world. Again, he's uh, quick to give you his interpretation of uh, this bit of scripture which the Calvinists have adopted. Hebrews, he believes that Paul wrote some of it, and he suggests that if it wasn't Paul, it could have been either Paulus, Luke, Clement, Barnabas, Tertullian, Irenaeus, or Anonymous. And uh, most people give Paul credit for the authorship of this, and he even says that Hebrews could have been the first written book of the New Testament, which I've never heard before. I always thought James was the first, uh, or Matthew, but he suggests that the book of Hebrews, written to the Jews, uh, was the first New Testament book. Now, the footnotes at the back, I uh, found these very interesting, and I'm going to go through this slowly. I've got about five minutes left, and uh, you're going to have to pause this and uh, read it at your own leisure. But uh, a lot of interesting facts and figures. Um, he doesn't spend a lot of time on Freemasonry. In fact, out of all the books he's written, he's never dealt with the Masons. He's written, why well, I'm not a Calvinist, why well, I'm not a Charismatic, why well, I'm not a Catholic. But he's never written anything on the Freemasons. And uh, you have to wonder why. Very unique uh, figures here. I've not seen these uh, in other publications. And I suppose that's why Peter Buckman is quite unique. The fact that he does uh, quote sources and bits and pieces which you may not have seen before. Uh, Gold and the Millionaires, some good stuff in there. Michael Jackson, Rolling Stones. And uh, he thinks it's important for people to know. And he's probably right, it is. Uh, modern Popes, have we just missed that? Catholic Conspiracies, have we missed that? Right, Catholic Conspiracies, the Bible verse, the Popes. Uh, as you can see, some interesting uh, facts in here, which I will let you go back and read uh, a little later. 2,151,000 Jews entered concentration camps, 1,626,000 died. Uh, very interesting. And I think a lot of these figures have been long forgotten. So he's quite... Uh, yeah, he's quite uh, keen for you to know. And that he wants you to know that these people haven't been forgotten. Uh, yeah, now special blessings. Uh, this is very interesting. Uh, Dalai Lama, Cardinal Cook... Uh, Vatican II, Jews are most dear for the sake of the fathers. That's probably a reference from the Catechism from 1994. Yep. What else have we got here? Peace on earth. Now, papal blessings. This is, this is very interesting. Uh... Some of the people that Pope has blessed have gone on to have some other sticky endings, shall we say. Uh, President Kennedy's here. And as you can see, I'm just going to just film them and let you pause and watch in your own leisure. Hold on a second, sorry. Uh, 63, JFK was blessed in a private audience with the Pope. He was killed in November. Uh, the Pope blessed Queen Anne Marie and Constantine the second. A year later, they were exiled to Rome. Yeah, some very interesting uh, bits in there. More figures. Uh, wars. Calvin's eternal decrees overruled. Yet again, he doesn't spend much time. Muhammad is very critical of Islam as leader. And uh, where is it? Here we are. We've written two articles on Islam and Muhammad, which you may want to look on our website. Near the end of uh, this reference Bible. Jenny goes back to Muhammad again. Spends quite a lot of time dealing with uh, the character and nature of Muhammad. 
and he doesn't mince his words, he's quite critical. Okay, we're nearing the end now. Burial sign Peter. Peter's tomb was recently discovered in Jerusalem, 1960. When was the last time you ever heard that talked about in your Catholic church? Yep. Aliases, what these film stars are really called. And I've got about 35 seconds left, so I'm going to jump. Liberation Theology. Malachi Martin, a Jesuit priest. Controversial. We've done an article on him, if you want to read it. And I've got one last page to look at. Predestination election. And, uh, as you know, we've done several videos on Calvinism. And I would invite you, the viewer, to watch them, if you want to know more. Thank you, Stephen, for reference, uh, Ruttman's Reference Bible. Appreciate you letting us borrow this, and every blessing.